yo, this is your boy Daniel Loveless back with another video and if you didn't check out the last video then you better make it your business and check it out right now. I spoke about the origin of what you know, how what you know was all started and for the purposes of this video I decided to fast forward three years to how I started to travel the world. So I basically was running around Trinidad and Tobago for three years doing what you know. I had my ups, I had my downs. People tried to shut my down, I didn't let them shut my down. You know, I had my good days, I had my bad days, I had my broke days, I had my good days, I had my hungry days, I had my plentiful days. But anyway, three years fast forward, the owner of an Instagram page came to Trinidad and Tobago. The name of that page is The Good Quote, so you can go follow that page on Instagram, they post a lot of inspirational stuff. So she came to Trinidad and she wanted to understand a little bit about the, the entertainment industry within Trinidad and Tobago. So she reached out to me and she was like, yo, let's, you know, let's link up. No problem. So we said the meeting, it was at Hyatt. Pull up at the Hyatt, no problem. We had the meeting. Meeting was good. Good talk. Positive talks. When I was leaving the meeting, so to come back home from Hyatt now, I see this guy and he was like, hey. Use the man. I say, yeah, he's the man. He said, yo, bro, I'm I'm from Toronto and I, I love your show, man. We love your show up there, man. We need to we need to get you to Toronto. And so you know, I really I roll my eyes because you know, over the three years of doing what you know, I met a lot of people who, you know, tell me, hey, you could do this, you could do that, I could do this for you, I could do that for you, I'll do this for you. And promises, 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 promises. So I kind of condition my mind to not take people seriously until I really see actions now. Because trust me, when you're entertaining, a lot of people just come around with well, yeah. Anyway, so he said, hey, I'd love to bring it to Toronto and whatever, whatever. I said, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, cool. I wasn't so excited about it, you know, at that point in time. So he said, yo, let's sit down and let's plan on how we're going to do this thing. Come, you know, come drink with me. Um, so I said, all right, cool. I said, say, yeah, no problem, no problem. So I sit down with him um, and just order drinks. Drinks upon drinks upon drinks and... <laughs> sushi and wings and... <laughs> Everything we could have think about. And we had some talks about how he wanted to bring me to Canada to basically um, expand the show and just to basically get a taste of what the world has to offer. So, say, right, no problem. He asked me, he said, you have a visa? Well, I didn't have a visa at that point in time, a Canadian visa. He said, okay, no problem. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you get one. I'm going to send you a letter. I'm going to tell you what to do and whatever, whatever. Wow, excited. <laughs> so anyway, I leave. I go on home. You know, the next day, he really sent me the letter. I said, but. Like this man serious, but the man really want to bring me to Canada. I said, all right, cool, no problem. So the amount of time I get denied for visa in my life, well, I wasn't even excited about trying to get a visa. But I said, you know what, uh, whatever, we go try. So I get the letter, I apply online, you know, and he wanted to bring me to Canada the next month. Eh? He said, yo, I'm bringing you, don't worry. You're staying in the best hotel, anything you want, you don't worry. So all right, cool, no problem. So I apply for my visa, very, um, I was very scared because, you know, as I tell you, I get denied for visa left, right, and center before. Canadian visa, US visa, I get denied. <laughs> if, if, you know, if you look up my name in the dictionary, you could call it denial. But anyway, a week later, after checking every single time on the website, I got approved. So I had my visa. My boy really booked my ticket to come to Canada. So at this point in time, I realized that, hey, it was real. Before, I didn't want to put any, like, promotions on, on the internet and stuff. Because I said, next thing, you go and promote yourself on the internet and say, what you know coming to Canada? And then, you don't get a visa now. You go look dotish in front of people. And if you're an international viewer and you don't know what the word dotish mean, it basically means daft, you know, stupid. Dotish. Anyway, right, if you're from the Caribbean, you'll know. But if you didn't know, now you know. But anyway, I just divert from the story a little bit. So, boom, your boy go in Canada. So, excited. So, it was like the next month, your boy prepare, your boy, you know, do his outfits, everything. And just like that, wake up in the morning, went to the Piaco International Airport. And five hours later, I was in Canada. Listen to me. It was like a child in a candy store. When that plane touched down so, you know, I never went anywhere else other than Trinidad and Tobago before in my life. So it was like, wow. So when I touched down, just touched down in at the airport. Mm -hmm. My boy was there waiting at the airport. His name is AK. He was waiting at the airport. He buy my SIM, you know. So I had data. Um, I stayed at, I stayed at um, Toronto, Harbour Castle, I think that's the name of the, um, the, the hotel, I don't know, I can't remember. But it was a real nice hotel, real, 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 real nice. And, you know, that was just my first time, you know, traveling the world. And while in Canada now, I had another obstacle. I was only there for three days, no, remember, I traveled alone. I wasn't with no photographer, no videographer, nothing. So I traveled alone. So I had to decide how I was going to produce what you know. So you can't just come here for style for three days and just here and do nothing. So I decided to just check out my Instagram and I literally searched the word Toronto and you could see like people who in Toronto. And I came across this guy, his name was Avinash. 
And I reached out to Avinash. I was like, yo, I'm in Toronto looking for some help. There's a name on my show. Trying to produce some content. He was like, yeah, no problem. I'm done. He come pick me up. We went down to um, Young and Dundas Square. It's my first time out of Trinidad. I'm super excited. And at that point in time, a lot of people just asked me if, like, when I travel the world, if I just be a little frightened or anything. And, like, that was the first time. And to tell you the honest truth, I was just so excited about being out there. A new opportunity, a new door open. And I just literally just take that mic. I hold that mic. And I was like... Hey Canada, it's your boy Daniel and we are out here in the streets of Toronto here today. And I just, I just do my thing, you know, and that same day I posted a teaser of, um, of, you know, what you know, Toronto and people loved it, bro. It was like, it was like a new dimension. It was like a new high. It was, it was so amazing. Like, you know, if I could go back and relive that moment, I would have, I would have done so right now because everybody home right now, so... Pressure, this COVID-19, come on, mash me up. And you know, I think this video is dedicated to my boy AK because if not for him, I don't think that I would have started to travel the world so soon. Like, he he jumpstart, you know, me traveling the world. And that was just it. What you know, Toronto, I lived in the moment. It was so nice. I tried a lot of new foods. I went to a lot of new places. I felt like I was on top of the world. It was, it was so amazing. And that was the start to... You know, beginning to travel the world and beginning to go to different countries. That was just the start. If you would like to see more of these videos, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tag a friend in the comments below. Tell all your friends to check out this video. This is my story. This is my journey. Let me know which country you want me to speak about next.